What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel After Sound here and we bring you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream over on Twitch daily at This Is After Sound. So come by, say hello. Uh, we do giveaways every stream and we do giveaways every week here on the channel. All you got to do is leave your in-game username in the comments and I pick out my favorites every week and uh, you can go through them on the weekly Q&A videos and send you some DEC. So let's let's talk about vouchers now i don't know if you've been following the mav chat the mav chat has been very very heated uh and very active over the last call it 12 to 18 hours 12 12 to 15 hours maybe since last night um for those who aren't following just a very quick rundown uh Agrod mentioned and he actually mentioned this in a previous ama but that there is interest from guilds to come in and each of these guilds have anywhere from you know 40 to 50 to even potentially 100,000 people, uh, players that are part of these guilds, right? These, are, these aren't Splinterlands guilds. These are gaming guilds. Uh, and so they may be coming in and uh, have approached the team about buying packs, bringing their player base in, and essentially becoming part of the community, right? So adding literally hundreds of thousands of players over, you know, I, the next... I, actually, I don't even know what the time frame is, but... These are the talks that are, are being had right now. Agrode has been, uh, I, I believe, somewhat transparent about it, mentioning it in the AMA and then actually bringing, up, bringing it up in the MAV channel last night. And so here's the thing. The MAV channel is full of heavy spenders, right? People who are invested highly into the game, but they've also been around the game for a while. So it's interesting to see a diverse set of opinions there. And I appreciate some of the Mavs that are standing up for the newer players, right? And, and um, you know, before we even get into this, I think it's, I want to be very careful because as a new player myself, um, I, I'm, I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get <laughs> in the middle of this whole thing. Uh, it's just, I feel like I can understand both sides of the argument here. Uh, and for for context, it's like, the issue at hand is that a lot of these newer guilds that are coming in and bringing players are asking, or not, I don't know about asking, but potentially working to get private sale bulk deals in the anywhere from hundreds of thousands of packs to potentially millions of packs. So this raised an issue last night where some of the maps were saying, well, if all of the packs are going to be sold out in the private sale before the general sale actually happens, because these packs are going to be taken from the 12 million pack general sale, right? For uh, just for reference, we have the 1 million packs for the pre-sale, the 2 million packs for the general sale with vouchers, and then it's open right? Then it's open general sale. So you have a lot of these guilds coming in and uh, potentially working out deals with the team. So here, here's the thing. I, I personally think, I personally think there was quite a bit of an overreaction to this. Uh, I mean, Bulldog posted a video last night and I appreciate Bulldog's opinion. Um, and I appreciate, you know, everything he does for the community. I will say that I think that his video was a bit of an overreaction because there's no details yet. And that's actually the part that frustrates me most. And I can understand that that's what, what frustrates a lot of folks is that there hasn't been as much uh, clarity, right? We're all waiting for this clarity. But I think when we don't get the clarity and then people start talking very uh, hypothetically about, oh my gosh, they're going to sell out all the packs. There'll be nothing left for the new players that are not part of these guilds or not part of these large pools of investors, right? There's no way. And I, I will eat these words if I'm wrong and criticize the team if it comes to it. But there is no way, in my opinion, that they sell out all the packs in the private sale. Like, there's just no way. They would not do that to the player base. And if they did, then I would have a huge issue with it. So the fact that people are getting up in arms with information that, again, is incomplete, it's in incomplete information. So it's like, yes, let's be annoyed and let's be frustrated about the incomplete information, but let's not take that information and run with it and be like, oh my gosh, they're going to give everything to the whales, they're going to give everything to the guilds. I don't think that that would happen. I think if they did that, that would be that would be awful for the game in many ways, right? Because there's a lot of people waiting for packs. But at the same time... And here's where I'm going to roll it back. And here's probably where I'll take some crap. Um, I understand it from their position too. And, and, and here's how I'm going to try and, and, and break it down. Imagine building something. Imagine creating a game that 
actually got a significant amount of traction and there were millions of dollars uh, interested in coming into your game, right? Millions of dollars interested in coming into your game. So now you're at a point where we've reached somewhat of a critical mass and you have these large, I don't even want to call them institutions, but just larger players in the space that say, hey, we like what you're doing. We want to invest and we want to give you boatloads of money for it. Well, as a savvy salesman, I think Agrid is doing the right thing to, to set up these sales and to bring these player base in, to bring the money in. Um, and I, to me, that like we can't, the, the community can't have its cake and eat it too, right? People complained, and Agrid even, Agrid even uh, somewhat admitted to this in the, uh, or alluded to this, I should say, in the Mav chat. But people complain about the voucher system, yet the voucher system to me is the fairest way to go about it. SPS is available to anybody. Anybody can buy and stake SPS. But people did not like the fact that that was the gate to get vouchers, right? If you wanted to buy packs, then you would need to either stake SPS, be an investor in the game, staking SPS, and then receive some of those investor benefits, or pay the premium of buying the voucher, which currently sits, uh, well, we had a, a Bitcoin dip last night or this morning, so we're just under $19. But I, I don't know. To me, to me, it's just like, I get it. I get it from the team side. But here's the thing for people that, that are, are really running with this and, and, and throwing, um, <laughs> throwing a community tantrum in some ways, here, here's, here's where it gets difficult, right? Because I, I appreciate this community so much and I actually appreciate the voice that a lot of these folks are coming up with. And I know that I dropped Bulldog my name. Don't get me wrong. I think Bulldog is an, a tremendous asset to this community and I'm not trying to take anything away from him. I think that what he's saying is very, very on point. The issue that I'm having with it is the fact that we are assuming that the team is going to sell all private packs and there will be actually zero for the general sale. Nowhere has that been the case. The team has actually said, I mean, Cryptomancer was on there saying that he doubts we'll even get close to that. He was guessing two to three million. So again, I, I, I want to give the team, and I think it's important that we give the team a little bit more benefit of the doubt um, before we start just trashing everything on Twitch streams and YouTube and all that. So I get the frustration. I get that there, you know, if this comes to pass, then that's an issue. And I can understand the, I can even understand the argument that people raising hell right now are just trying to make their voice heard so that this doesn't come to pass. But I think, I think we are thinking the worst of what the team is doing when at the end of the day, the team has been doing everything, in my opinion, to to really protect the long-term health of the game, right? So a cash grab from private guilds does not seem like a long-term, you know, that, that, that doesn't fit in line, right? What, what are they doing is a strategic move to bring in not only money, but players, not only, sorry, I shouldn't even say money, because that money is going to come in regardless. They're bringing in communities, right? They're bringing in these large player bases of communities uh, that will come in. And I know people have their issues with guilds and all that. But at the end of the day, I think diversifying the player base and really adding not just, you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, but potentially millions of players, right? Or in the million or, or <laughs> I was about to say double million or in the multi-million players um, with these guilds in the future, I to me... He, I don't know. That makes sense. From a, from a business standpoint, that makes sense. And for anybody that buys in bulk, right, this is just standard sales. If you go to a store, right, if you go to a store and you're, you're looking for a bargain and you're willing to buy out half the shelf, you might ask and be like, hey, are you going to give me a discount if I buy out half the shelf? Or sometimes <laughs> the store will reverse engineer this on you and say, hey, buy two, get one half off, right? So this is just this is just part of it. And I understand that people want stipulations for the guilds, but we, the team already determined that SPS was needed for state, uh, SPS staking was needed for vouchers and that vouchers were only going to be for the first 3 million, right? First 3 million packs. And people complained about that, which is why it's the only first 3 million packs. And now as soon, literally as soon as that stipulation was taken away, as soon as that gate was taken away, here comes all the big money saying, oh, we don't need vouchers anymore. 
here's a big wad of cash we want to buy, right? So I love the voucher system, guys. I love the voucher system. And I think I think that it was very unfairly perceived by the community. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. And I am not envious of the, of the position that the team is in. Uh, but again, I maintain full faith that the team is doing what is in the best interest of the long-term health of the game. And I'm never going to fault them for that, right? I don't think that they're singling out new players. I don't think that they're singling out uh, you know, players uh, or, you know, any single demographic of players. I think that they are just trying to get this game out there into the world to raise the value of all of the assets within it to reward the investors. Because again, let me remind you at the end of the day, the team is only getting $4 per pack, $4 per pack. Right now, if you want to buy a pack, you need a voucher and that the the value they've created by staking SPS right now is nineteen dollars per voucher. That all went to investors in the game who bought and staked SPS. So here's the thing: um, I'm gonna get off of that now. <laughs> Gave you my opinion, and hopefully it was hopefully it was somewhat neutral because, like I said, I'm I'm trying to be empathetic and understand both sides of the road here. And what I'm really trying to do is just. Tell everybody to take a breath and let's not rush to judgment. That's all. That's actually the only message that I have. Now, getting into what the topic of the video was supposed to be was vouchers still have tremendous value, right? You want if 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 you want to if you want to go all the way down that hypothetical road and say, hey, you know what? There is not going to be any packs, or there will not be any packs because the guilds are gonna buy them all up. Well, you still have vouchers available to you now right? There are vouchers that you can buy. There's SPS, which is on a dip right now and under 50 cents. And you can stake this, stake the SPS, or you can buy the vouchers to get access to the cards. Is it cheap? No, but that's the premium. That's the premium that you pay because of the fact that we are, the not we, but the, the team is rolling this out uh, in, in a way that is benefiting investors the most. So I know that's not what some people want to hear. I'm sure there's going to be many people that disagree with me, uh, but here's the deal. Uh, I, I still think that buying cards is the best way to build a deck. If you are focused on packs, then, you know, to me, packs are for investors, right? Because packs provide you airdrop points. They appreciate in value over time and you can, you know, essentially buy them in bulk, but they're not the best way to build a deck. You should be looking at cards, specific cards, and focusing on specific splinters or whatever the case is as a player. As an investor, you should have bought and staked SPS a long time ago. <laughs> That's This is what it comes down to. Um, and if you want packs, if you want to guarantee yourself packs, it's interesting to hear some Mavs that are actually buying Chaos Legion packs on the secondary market right here for $8.85. So... If you want to guarantee that you have a pack, no matter what happens when the general sale hits, you could be buying packs for $8 right now. Do you get the benefits of the promo and airdrops? Nope, you don't. And I'm going to be very clear about that. And I, maybe, maybe there hasn't been as much clarity about that from the team, but you do not get any of those benefits. But you get the cards inside and you get to keep those cards. And those cards could be anything from chaos legion anything from from common to legendary or regular to gold foil right so you don't get all the pre-sale perks that goes to those who staked sps or had vouchers or bought vouchers and bought the packs directly from the store so i don't know what happens from here on out i just i'm hoping <laughs> i'm hoping i'm hoping this video can be just remind people that there is still tremendous opportunity here uh, and if you want to get packs there is still plenty of time. There's going to be a whole nother month before the actual general sale with no vouchers begins that you can buy and stake SPS right now, or you can buy vouchers if you need, or if you don't care about any of those pre-sale perks and you just want to make sure that you have your hands on some Chaos Legion cards in the form of a pack, you can go ahead and buy the Chaos Legion packs here. I'm looking at Hive Engine right now. This is on Friday morning. There's no AMA today. So... Look at that. Vouchers just jumped back to 20 bucks. So um, that's that's just where it is, guys. And I, again, we will have to monitor how the situation goes. I wish there was an AMA today because then they could have answered some of those questions a little bit more directly. But, and I've said this in a previous video, but the fact that 
the white paper is not out yet is very frustrating. So we don't know what the actual plan is and the plans seem to change based on the community's reaction. And that's that's a double-edged sword. That's a that's a slippery slope, right? Because we we want there to be clarity, yet we also want our voices to be heard. So again, I think our voices have been heard or at least the the loud voices that were very anti-vouchers. I I've never been anti-vouchers, but the loud vo- voices that were anti-vouchers have been heard and and now we're dealing with the consequences of that, right? We're dealing with the consequences of that that because there are no more stipulations rewarding uh, people who are staking SPS, it's free for all, and here comes big money. And that's always going to be a battle between the little guy and big money that is, I mean, that just, that's that's for all time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful, and I'm, I'm actually not just hopeful. I'm confident that the team is going to do the right thing. I don't, I, I just... What I don't want is for people for there to be misinformation being spread around. So even though I can't give you any confirmation of one thing or another, I am telling you that there has been a lack of con- confirmation, and that I do believe that with the chatter that's been happening in the Mav channel with Cryptomancer with Agrode, they're they're hearing the response. And I again, even if they didn't hear the response, there is just no way. I would bet money on it. I would bet SPS on it. There is just no way that um, that they would exclude the general sale and, and completely scrap that by giving all of the packs out to these these guilds. So I, I don't know. I mean, that's just my thought. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. If I offended anyone in any way, I apologize. That was not the intent. This was really just to try and see the argument from both sides and to tell everybody to take a deep breath because nothing is set in stone yet. So, you know, before we get out the pitchforks, Let's let's just make sure we give the team a chance to really assess the situation and go from there. All right. That's all I have for you guys today. Vouchers are still valuable. Grab them or sell them. But at this point, I think I think you should be holding on to your vouchers if you can, because if you want to make sure you get those Chaos Legion packs uh, or at least some Chaos Legion packs uh, eligible for airdrops, those vouchers are going to be clutch for not just the pre-sale, but also the general sale. All right, guys, I will catch you all in the next video. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you around the game.